It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Miami Heat playing against the Brooklyn Nets. And for Brooklyn, one thing they've talked about, sustaining focus on the defensive end, allowing no easy shots, trying to be disruptive, maybe causing some turnovers that can lead to easy buckets in transition. And for the Miami Heat, hard-nosed team culture, training camp on military bases, mouth guards, knee pads in practices. Kenny, not for the faint of heart. No, this franchise is all business. They test their players' body fat. Shaq, you can tell us about that, right? Yeah, weight's never been an issue for me. I keep this Adonis-like physique. Oh, okay. Body fat. I'm just saying. Small world. No body fat on this guy either. Mm. Both teams ready for tip-off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan. (laughs) 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some terrific NBA action. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight David Aldridge. Any two teams that are dedicated to the uh, youth movement and the respective clubs. Doris, talk about the biggest challenges for a young player in this game well the world in basketball is increasingly small so a lot of young players in the game have faced each other in aau basketball or if they've played collegiately they faced each other there so the biggest challenge sometimes for young players is not letting this become a personal matchup with the player you're looking opposite basketball is a team game and while you want to outshine your opponent you've got to do it within the context and framework of the overall team game good point now a chance courtesy of gatorade all fueled up and ready to go the starting five on the floor so for brooklyn now they've got kyrie irving two friends out there with allen then there's harris and it's lavert in at the three and that one falls for allen Drops them both. Miami with the ball. Johnson outside. Down low. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Havoc. Pass to Levert. 
Pass to Harris. Six to shoot. Let's the free fly. The Nets get it back in a new 24. And Allen slams it in. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. I'll tell you, if you don't box out well, expect to get burned. You can't afford to give them second chance opportunities. Now here's Butler. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And so Allen will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. It's Prince on the wing. The three nailed from three-point land. Prince has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Trogic with it. He's picked up by Irving. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul. Here's ABC, guarded by Harris. Right side, Butler. Just five on the clock. Another shot, and the layup is good. Adebayo's got six. And where's the help? Obviously, a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Right, because otherwise you're going to give up those close-range opportunities all night. If you allow the opposition to get into a groove, look out. Working the in-between area, the kind of look that can get you into a rhythm early. Yeah, the defense better take notice because you can't let guys get comfy shooting from their spots. Shots good by Butler. Boy, that makes them four out of five to start this thing. They're finding very good shots early on. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Kenny Atkinson did give me a few minutes to catch up with him. He said they have to do a good job of moving their feet defensively. That's the only way they're going to avoid getting dunked on. He said they also want to turn guys who are slashers into jump shooters. We'll see if that works, Kevin. Thank you, David. Here's Drogic. After the basket by Brooklyn. Now the pass to ABC. Lots of room. Rebound, Brooklyn. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Yeah, that's a surprising miss, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time. And it's Dragic with the ball for Miami. It's a five-point game. Joe Harris, a guy that bounced back between the G League, Doris, and the NBA his first few seasons. Right, Joe Harris has thrived fitting into a shooting role with this team. And credit coach Kenny Atkinson for saying, listen, model yourself after Kyle Korver. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Dogic against Irving. Six on the shot clock. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. Pass to Levert. Fires for three. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Harris. Irving's got five points so far. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Drogic gets the bucket. And, you know, he's not usually the guy to break out the crossover. Worked for him that time, but I'm not sure I would be doing that consistently. Here's Irving after the made shot from Goran Drogic. Here's ABC. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Rogic kicks to Buck. Johnson outside. Baseline try. Some solid defense from Harris. Nets leading by six. Pass to Levert. Uncovered. Goran Dragic grabs the board. He'd have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Gets an open look and hits. Here's Irving. He's got five. Get going. 
Elbow shot is on the way. He gets that one. Seven points in the game. Here's Dragic. They trail by six. Passes it to ABC. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And now that that final debt Doris has been paid, it must feel like a huge relief for Nets fans to be done with that trade they made with Boston. Well, you hate to say it, but trading for KG, Pierce, and Terry back in 2013 turned out to be a disaster for the Nets. Probably set the organization back a good five years. They must be thrilled to be out from under the weight of that mistake. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. I'll tell you, he's coming through for them at the free throw line today. His form has been perfect. Irving with the ball. Seven points in the game. Allen, that's good. Well, Kyrie Irving has such a good sense of when his teammates are going to create an opportunity, and he puts the pass on time and on target. Here's ABC. Upside Butler. The pass to Autobio. Well, and guys, that's what he wanted to avoid. A second foul before the end of the opening period. And some changes here for the Heat. Olenek is checked in for Johnson. And it's Waiters in for ABC. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Brooklyn. Spencer Dinwiddie comes in for Harris. And so here is Miami. They trail by six. And Gore Rogic just slippery lefty out of Slovenia. At his peak, a phenomenal offensive player. He doesn't hit that peak every season, though. And now in his 30s, we'll see how long he can extend his prime. The first one falls. You know, everyone on the floor needs some level of playmaking skill, Doris. Who are your picks for bigs who can really share the ball? Good passers among the big men. Yeah, one of my favorite players in the NBA to watch is Nikola Jokic because his vision, um, his desire to share the basketball, his ability to see not one action ahead, but sometimes two actions ahead uh, is really remarkable for a man of his size. You look at somebody like Draymond Green, who is absolutely critical to the success of the Golden State Warriors on the offensive end of the floor. He can take it off the window, he can dribble it in transition, and in full speed, make decisions going second by second that are really, really impressive. Thread passes do such a great job with the ball. I agree with you. Yeah. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Oh, and there's the alley-oop, an emphatic alley-oop jam. And maybe that'll trigger them impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Now here's Jordan, kicks to Allen. Waiters grabs the miss. To the middle, here's Butler. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Jimmy Butler, you know, something of a quirky character has a ritual whenever he's at a grocery store of paying the person's bill behind it. Doesn't care if it's 99 cents or 2,000. No good on that one. And Butler never afraid to be a little bit different listening to country music in the locker room, much to his teammates' chagrin. And in the offseason, riding around in a van 
with the baby on board sticker, he, even though he's single with no kids. Remove the rearview mirror as a symbolic reminder to never look back. This guy's special. And he ends up missing both free throws. And Jimmy Butler's a very physical wing, as we know, Greg. Goes about 6'8", 240, and he can D up almost any position. And the strength to deal with forwards, the quickness to cover guards. Also, he uses that strength to attack the rim and get himself to the line. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And even though Spencer Dinwiddie had a breakout year, he felt that his time was long overdue. Yeah, and in between the injury in college and kind of being buried on the bench, he's had to overcome a lot and has always believed in himself. And he feels when matched up head-to-head -head with most guards, he's going to come out on top. Showed exactly why he believes in himself so much with that breakout season in 2018. Well, think about it, guys. Last year, Spencer Dinwiddie, a little bit of a breakout year, right? Stepped in for the injured D'Angelo Russell and helped the Nets stay competitive, proving to be a big-time scorer. Shots good by Waiters. Guys, listen, the defense was totally invisible on that three-point attempt. Nobody even in his zip code. Here's Temple. He's guarded by Waiters. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Back to Temple. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside Jordan. For the three. Chandler. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And Doris Dinwiddie's so good at finding a play to make even when it seems he has nowhere to go. Well, that quick first step opens up space to get into the passing lanes. This guy makes a lot of jump passes but seems to get away with it. Now here's Winslow. No points in the game yet for him. They find Jay on the way and all around the rim that time before dropping in. Well, Butler needs a lot of defensive attention when he's in the mid-range. You've got to have a body on him. To the paint. It's tipped. Olenek against Jordan. Here's Dinwiddie. It's over Olenek. Dinwiddie's shot is off. That's an example of great defense. His teammates love that about him. Always why the shooters struggle against this guy. Here's Butler. Jones trying to get open. And that one's good by Butler. Now just a three-point Nets lead. Well, the confidence that Jimmy Butler displays on a nightly basis is awesome. This guy, as an interior scorer, is a force. They double him with Butler. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his first foul. Here's Dinwiddie. Lobs it up for Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And any lob to Jordan is about a sure thing as you can get. So athletic for a big with tremendous hands and Big fella knows how to get in prime position for those alley-oop feeds. There's Winslow following the basket by DeAndre Jordan. Pass to Olenek. He dishes it to Waiters. Rocket six. Here's Butler. And the Heat get another bucket right there. Well, sometimes the best strategy is get Jimmy the basketball and let the Butler do the work. And Temple kicks to Dinwiddie. Down low, trying to find Chandler. He's got it now. That one falls, coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got three assists in the game. Pass to Winslow. Olenek in the corner. Heat moving the ball around. And Jimmy Butler again. Butler's got ten points. I'd say he's doing everything scoring-wise this period to try to keep them in it. 
Here's Temple. He's guarded by Waiters. Ball's knocked loose. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. It's the Nets now. Jordan, the pass to Dinwiddie. Passes it to ABC. Another one falls for Brooklyn. That's their third straight make off an assist. The Heat trail by five. And uh, 101 left to play here in the first. Waiters finds Jones. There's Winslow and the dunk by Winslow. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Here's Temple. He's guarded by Waiters. Dinwiddie passes to ABC. He gets it in there. And the Nets lead by five. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Butler against Chandler. Butler kicks to Olenek. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Olenek's got his first three points of the game. Olenek giving the defense no time to react. Quick catch and shoot. Here's Dinwiddie, covered by Winslow. Dinwiddie passes to Jordan. Olenek with the steal. From deep three-point range. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. One of the league's best point guards, Kyrie Irving, had this to say about his competition. 2011, I came into a league where the point guard position was still being revolutionized, and now guys are solidifying that spot every single year. There are young guys coming in, but now we have established point guards that are franchise-changing point guards. And for me, having that competitive drive every single game, I know I'm going against an elite point guard every single game. So I think that now coming into the league, it's a lot different than it was before. Some say, Greg, a golden age at the point guard position. Yeah, and Irving right there with the best of them. Uh, he embraces the challenge. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And taking a look at the Nets' performance here, guys, uh, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first, and for me, that was the difference. It was huge, no doubt, and it seems like they simply can't miss from downtown. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Wilson Chandler out there with ABC. Then it's Jordan. Then it's Garrett Temple. And it's Dinwiddie in at the one spot. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Chandler kicks to Temple. Now the pass to Dinwiddie. Lobs it up for Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. In tight windows, you have got to be confident and on point. Spencer Dinwiddie, really good job in the pick and roll. Winslow finds Olenek. Back to Winslow. Raiders on the wing. Pass to Olenek. Now here's Winslow. He's guarded closely. Raiders no luck. Nice timing to get up on that shot. Boy, you can't ask for better defense, Greg. Excellent work getting right into the grill of the shooter. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Johnson, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Irving's checked in. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Wide open. And it's Miami with the rebound. 
Now here's Jones. He's still scoreless so far in this one. On the wing, Chandler. Defended by Jones. Chandler kicks to Irving. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Now I think they'll keep going to him more and more as they look to hang on to their lead. Why not with the way this guy is shooting it? To the paint. Here's Johnson. And it's what? And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. A different look for Miami. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Kelly Olynyk. ABC comes in for Deion Waiters. And it's Drogic in for Derek Jones. Here's ABC, guarded by Harris. They get the rebound, Adebayo, and that one is stuffed right through. And guys, isn't it great to see a player who, who works that hard on the glass at both ends? Well said, G. That's the way he has built, you know, his reputation. Finding a way, 100% effort all the time. Uh, so much tenacity. Really tries to outwork everyone around him. Karis LaVert, a player who executives knew had potential doors, but they were scared away on draft day. Yeah, I think, Kevin, the three foot surgeries early in the career had a toll on that. But let's remember, the Nets took a chance, and he has more than shown with the ceiling he has what a good decision that was. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. In Odoras for a long time, few people realized how efficient the three-point shot can be. The extra point making such a difference. Uh, why do you think it took a while for that thought process to hold? Well, I think obviously we have advanced metrics. And the reason we have advanced metrics is there are more ways to monitor the things that happen between the lines, right? There are cameras everywhere. We can track people's data uh, via computer programs. But I think one of the interesting things to me, Kevin, is that Steph Curry really has changed the logistics of what defines a quality shot. Here's a guy who steps across half court, and when he does, he's in range. So the influence of Steph Curry cannot be understated. Great example. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, just hitting a reset button, a chance to kind of talk some things over. I think sometimes that's all it takes, right? We'll see if it helps them moving forward in this one. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Dragic, the pass to Autobio. Back to Dragic. And the basket is good. Dragic has got eight points. A physical basketball there, and in the best sense. A hard screen allows him to shake the defender and get to the bucket for the layup. And slam dunk by Jordan. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Here's ABC. Back to Dragic. Here's ABC. Guarded by Harris. And yes, it's good. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Dragic against Irving. No good that time. And Miami the other way now. Johnson finds Dragic. Pass to ABC. Shot clock at six. It's deflected. 
Here's Levert. Passes to Prince. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Third foul of the half, and that's the risk you take leaving him out there. Allen's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. To the paint, stolen by Winslow. Johnson outside. Here's ABC. From outside, off the mark. Brooklyn leading by four. To the middle. Out to Harris. Beyond the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Harris has got five. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. And there's Johnson. That's good on the assist from Rogic. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. For Brooklyn, they've gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. The pass to Levert. Prince in the corner. Off target with his three. And it's Dragic with ball for Miami. It's a five-point game. Here's Levert, covered by Winslow. Allen outside. Here's Irving. Great touch on the 16-footer. He's got 11. Well, the ability to score at all three levels makes Kyrie Irving a near-impossible check. Good luck, fellas. Pass to ABC. Outside, Dragic. Down low. Deflects the pass. Inside. Winslow. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Irving against Dragic. Irving with the bounce pass. Allen passes to Levert. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Prince. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Prince has got the lead up to eight now for Brooklyn. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Johnson. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Nets leading by six. Irving looking for an opening. Off target from three-point range. Well, I'll tell you, still looking for that first three of the second quarter. He had one to open this game in the first. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's ABC, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. ABC's got six. The Nets have gone six of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Prince outside. On the wing, Harris. This is Allen. Six on the shot clock. Irving from long range. Offensive rebound. Allen passes to Prince, and that one drops for him. 13 points in the game. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Passes it to ABC. To the middle, here's Johnson, and he comes up with the deuce. Johnson, four points now in the quarter. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive mate in the paint. Irving attacking. That's tipped. To the inside. That one's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Johnson. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Irving kicks to Allen. He feeds it to Prince. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Dragic the pass to ABC. Back to Dragic. Now the pass to ABC. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got his fourth assist in this one. I tell you, you get the feeling he's only going to get better as this game wears on. That first quarter was good. His second quarter has been great. 
no doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Here's ABC. He's got nine. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Kelly Olenek's checked in for Miami. And the Nets making a change here as well. Garrett Temple has checked in for Levert. Here's Prince. 15 points in the game. Outside Irving. Shot clock at five. Over Dragic. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. And that's 13 points for Kyrie Irving. Yeah, that's just the master of understanding pick and roll and how to develop a quality shot. Such a dangerous guy in those sets. Here's ABC. Inside, here's Olenek. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Olenek's got five points so far. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And the Nets lead by three. And with all the drama, Greg, that has followed Irving the past few seasons, he reached out to Kobe Bryant for some guidance. And just like Irving and LeBron had to go their own ways, so did Kobe and Shaq. Very few players know what it's like to be in a situation like Irving. But, but Kobe's one of them. And Kobe gave Irving the confidence to not be afraid of standing out in his career decisions. And so far, it's paid off handsomely. Now here's Winslow. It's deflected. 130 left here in the second. Prince wide open. Sinks the three-pointer. Now it's a six-point Nets lead. Boy, he has exploded. You couldn't ask for a better quarter from a guy. Olenek the pass to ABC. Over to the wing. Irving against Dragic. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Dragic is five points in the quarter. Irving against Dragic. Irving passes to Prince. Now the feed to Allen. That one good for two. He's got eight. That's an example of great communication. He knows the spot to get to, and the pass is waiting for him. Rogic finds Olenek. And again, Miami with the triple. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. The Nets with the lead. Outside Irving. The dish to Harris. I'm deep. Miami grabs the miss. Autobio's got rebound number eight now on the night. And here's Dragic. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Torian Prince. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. And he makes the first. Both teams deciding to change it up. One drops, he ties it up. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. 
When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? Much different. I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. <laughs> well, it is a unique style, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Goran Dragic has been the story in this one. He had 13 points, 5 assists, and 1 rebound. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? Well, they've been pounding. I mean pounding it in the paint. Not just taking the first three-pointer when it came across. That keeps the defense on its toes. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Nets. Their defense has been practically non-existent. Sure, they're facing a team that got hot. You can even say a bit lucky at times. But no one is stepping up on D and taking anything away. Have some pride. Don't let a guy shoot like that in your face. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. A shot of American Airlines Arena in the lights of Miami, Florida. Welcome back, everyone, to the action here. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You have to like what we're seeing from Torian Prince. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. And it's mattered not, Greg, whether he's been spotting up or creating for himself. He was unstoppable, and you hope it carries over to the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Adebayo is out there with Johnson. Then there's Jimmy Butler. Then there's Drogic. And it's ABC in at the two. So that's where Expulsive starts the second half with. Boy, how frustrating it must be when you manage to slow up Irving only to have him drop the floater. Drogic kicks to Butler. That one is good again. He's six straight from the floor with the basket. And the road back into this game wasn't a short one, but they managed to make it all the way back and tie this thing up. And you love the heart, the fire they've shown here. Let's see if they can keep up this level of tenacity. Miami's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Rockets the pass to ABC. Outside, Butler. Six to shoot. Rogic kicks to Butler. For the lead. Rebound, Brooklyn. Allen's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Prince misses. And uh, the Heat shooting 65%. An outstanding offensive display from them. Reverses. Doesn't go that time. Excellent D there from Allen. Outside Irving, pass to Allen. Over to the left wing, Lavert, and again, no good by Brooklyn. Boy, what a cold start to the second half for them. Just one for four from the field so far. And that one's good by Butler. Well, there's a solid handle that Jimmy Butler is working with, and his ability to create with the ball in his hands becoming special. Here's Allen, Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Allen outside. He kicks to Harris. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Allen's shot is off. And it's not easy to get those stops at the rim, but he does a great job with it. Yeah, he can make it look simple on the interior. When it's really not, he knew exactly how to guard on the inside. 
and you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Hat. Here's Levert. Cloak loose. Johnson. Here's Dragic. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. 15 for Gordon Dragic. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here is Harris. Five points in the game. Prince in the corner. And the Nets miss again. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Boy, a little too casual on the layup. Temporary loss of focus. Not good. And it's good for two. Prince has got 20. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. Irving against Dragic. Kicks it to Butler. Puts it up from 12, and it's Miami with another. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his third foul of the game. The Heat making a switch here. Waiters has checked in. And a change for the Nets. Dinwiddie's checked in. Irving against Dragic. Right side Irving. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Dragic. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Johnson finds Waiter. Now here's Butler. Johnson for three. They get the rebound. With the second effort. They shoot again. He takes it up and lays it in. Adebayo's got 16. Boy, look at how hard he pursues the basketball. Gets out of his area. Terrific work on the offensive glass. Agic against Irving. It's Adebayo with the rebound. On offense, here are the Heat. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Here's Waiters. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. I love this approach. Despite the lead, still attacking, adding fuel to the fire. They are absolutely relentless right now, Greg. There's no end in sight. They are going for it. And Brooklyn making a change here. Chandler's checked in. One shot. Free throw, no good for Waiters. And Deion Waiters, midway through last season, finally had season-ending surgery on his left ankle. He had been trying to manage that injury since the season prior. Yeah, and he ended up losing out on a bonus of over a million, which was contingent on him playing 70 games. His play had fallen off, though, so quite possible he needed that surgery even before he suffered the setback. Well, obviously, it's been an off night for him offensively, but give his teammates credit. They've bailed him out. He's still got time to turn it around. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's foul number two for him. Olenek, he's checked in for James Johnson. And then for Brooklyn, DeAndre Jordan comes in for Allen. And ABC subbed in for Levert. Bobs it up for Jordan, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Now here's Dragic. He's got 15. Unloads from 13. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. 
And, and Kevin, plays like that are really the reason they've got a nice lead right now. Just a great job on the glass. And Greg, the jam and the follow gets their whole bench <laughs> jumping. Look at them. They are really into it. The other bench deflated because that was a rough sequence for the defense. They hated to give up those points but did nothing to stop it. Boy, Kev, I love his game. He can hurt you in so many different ways. Pass to Butler. 11 feet away. Green for two points. Butler's got 18 points in the game. Well, you can see he's feeling it right now. Shots dropping from all over the place this quarter. Here's Dinwiddie, defended by Butler. Dinwiddie is off. Well, that's tough defense in the paint. Harassing him every step of the way. They get a hand on it. Chandler with the ball. Five points in the game. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut to just five on the basket from Kyrie Irving. And even through contact, Kyrie still able to finish shots consistently. Waiters passes to Autobio. He kicks it to Dragic. Passes it to Autobio. Back to Waiters. Five on the clock. Let's the three fly. A rebound by the Nets. Lobs it up for Jordan. The pass to ABC. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Irving against Dragic. And it's out of bio in the corner. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That'll be his second foul of the game. A different look for Miami. Derek Jones comes in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Justin Winslow in for Goran Dragic. Garrett Temple has checked in for the Nets. Here's Butler. 18 points for him. Pass to Waiters. Five on the clock. Right through the D for the layup. Waiters got four points this quarter. Amazing how he gets this one to go. Size doesn't matter. What fearlessness, right? He likes to go at taller defenders, and he shows he has what it takes to get it done. Here's Dinwiddie. He has seven. Here's Temple. Kicks it to Dinwiddie. Over Waiters. And with that, the Heat lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Dinwiddie. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. Winslow dishes to Waiters. The kick outside to Butler. There's the three. Waiters no luck. Boy, all sorts of space around him. If he can't hit those, the defense not going to worry too much about him. Dinwiddie's shot is off. That's as good a look as he's going to get beyond the arc, but there are no sure things from that range, even for him. Butler from outside. That shot off the mark. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Chandler kicks to Temple. Pass to Jordan. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Oh, great ball movement there. And DeAndre Jordan, the all-time leader in career field goal percentage, great by a sizable margin. Yeah, the most prolific dunker in the league, maybe in league history. tied up with that one and this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate and teams are never afraid to put him on the line 
Now here's Butler. He's got 18. Kicks it to Waiters. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, terrific floor awareness from the crafty swingman. Jimmy Butler playing the role of facilitator. Here's Jordan. 11 points in the game. To the paint. And the layup's good off the glass. ABC's got it all tied up now for the Nets. Boy, defender taken out of the play with a rock-solid screen. No way he's going to get through that. Now here's Waiters. Nine points in the game so far. Shoots from 14. Rebound, Brooklyn. Chandler's got six rebounds in the game. With some arc, Temple. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Boy, phenomenal decision-making from the young guard. Spencer Dinwiddie, nicely done, putting it on time and on target. Now here's Waiters. And uh, 101 left to play here in the third. Here's Butler. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. I think you've got to play Jimmy Butler a little bit more honest than you do there. He's adept at drawing those kinds of calls. The Heat have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Well, what you love about Jimmy Butler to me is he can carry an offense. He can also affect the game with his high-level defense. That is the rarest of rare combinations. And so Butler nails both of them. 54 seconds left to play in the third. Passes it to ABC. He dishes it to Dinwiddie. There's the pass to Temple. The shot by Chandler, wide open. Good on the three-point shot. Chandler's got eight points. Well, you know, a lack of effort defensively, and he gets a very good look from deep. The Heat trail by three. Waiters finds Winslow. And here is Butler. Over Chandler. Again, the miss by the Heat. Just a little hesitation on that release, right? His timing looked a bit off. To the left wing. Here's Dinwiddie. He's guarded by Waiters. Pass to Temple. Lobs it up for Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Nets lead by five. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. The Heat trail by five. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got ABC. Also DeAndre Jordan out there. Garrett Temple is out there with Wilson Chandler. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. Butler in the corner. And the three ball is good. Butler's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Heat. Jimmy Butler is a problem for this defense. Right now, they've got nothing for him. Go ahead, JB. Do some work. And Temple kicks to Jordan. 
Chandler the pass to ABC to the right side Dinwiddie's shot is off well something you never like to see but uh, guys he definitely looks hurt and boy this really doesn't look good that just the way it happened boy it's got to be so frustrating for him as hard as he has worked doing everything he can to help his team just heartbreaking Greg Johnson he's checked in for the heat The Nets making a switch here. Lavert's checked in. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, during that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. He knows this has been a hard-fought game, and he wanted his guys to just sit down and catch their breath. He said, look, we're right in the game, guys. Let's make a little push here. Let's come out with some bite. Kevin? Thanks, David. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on the free throw. ABC's checked in for Waiters. Torian Prince, he's checked in for the Nets. Good on the second free throw. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Here's Dinwiddie. Covered by Winslow. Pulls it up. Misses off the right iron. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Jones, no one around him. And again, it's the Heat missing. Nets have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. To the middle. From 10 feet out, Prince's shot is good. Prince has got 22 points. And guys on defense gasping for air at this point. <laughs> gasping for air and giving limited effort on the defensive end. Right now it's all about the offense. Boy, the shooting has been off the charts. It's deflected. Dishes it to Dinwiddie. To the inside. Makes it off the glass. Now it's a five-point Nets lead. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Here's ABC. He kicks the butler. Pocket six. Trying to get open is Johnson. Shots good by Butler. Butler's got five points in the quarter. Well, there's a gritty nature to what Jimmy Butler does, just outworking people down low. Has to Levert for three. Up again, and there's Jordan putting it right back in. And the Nets lead by five. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Bam Adebayo is checked in for Miami. Rogic comes in for Justice Winslow. And then for Brooklyn, Paris comes in for Garrett Temple. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Spencer Dinwiddie. 
Harris. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Miami Heat. Passes it to ABC. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Brooklyn leading by seven. Prince, right side. Jordan finds Irving. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Jimmy Butler. To me, Karis LeVert has tons of upside. This is a 6'7 guard with an outstanding skill set. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Logic kicks to Johnson. And the call will be against Harris. That's his first foul. Butler from outside, buries the long-range jumper. Butler's got 18 points just in the second half. Jimmy Butler's effectiveness as a scorer includes that three-point line. You've got to cover him out there. It's Johnson. Prince, the pass to Levert. Shot clock at six. Irving for three. Knocks down the three ball. Irving's got the lead. Back up to eight now for the Nets. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Rockets the pass to ABC. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his third foul of the game. Allen's checked in for Brooklyn. Here's Johnson. Good. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Hoggage against Irving. There's the dish to Prince. Shoots the three. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got 14 rebounds tonight going after him. Here's Johnson. They get it back, and it's out of bounds. Last touched by Allen. And so here is Miami. They trail by six. Here's Butler. Well, you love the activity of Karis LeVert. He's just trying to bother the offensive player and does a good job there. It's tipped. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. The Heat trail by nine. Rogic finds Butler. Here's ABC. Fires the three. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got five assists in the game. 
And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. Right. The effort could have been so much better. You've got to be willing to fight through that screen. There's no question about it. Prince, the pass to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Here's Irving. Again, the Nets for two. How easily scoring comes for Kyrie Irving. So intelligent, such a good decision maker. Rogic kicks to Buck. There's the pass to ABC. Pass to Autobio. Butler on the way. Brooklyn with the rebound. Prince has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Harris dishes to Irving. It's Prince on the wing. Kicks it to Allen. The Nets working the ball around now. The lead pushed to double digits. And it's a 10-point Nets lead. At 6'7", Karis Levert knows how to use that size, especially inside. He knows how to handle himself in there. Rogic against Irving. Butler feeling out of it. Knocks it loose. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Irving kicks to Prince. Pass to Allen. Back to Prince. Johnson with some nice D. Boy, I didn't think he had a chance of stopping that lay in. What a gutsy defensive play. Well, their pass to ABC. And he goes in for the dunk. Well, Jimmy Butler outstanding at creating opportunities for his teammates. He is not just a scorer, guys. Burns Dragic. There's the call on James Johnson. That is his first foul of the game. Dragic against Irving. Shoots over Dragic. Irving, good. Irving's got the lead up to 10 now for the Nets. Uh, if you get caught watching the ball against Kyrie, he's going to go right by you every time. Rogic against Irving. Pass to ABC. Inside. Johnson kicks to Butler. Shot clock at six. Yes, that goes in. Butler's got 30 points. I'll tell you, he's doing everything scoring-wise this period to try to keep them in it. Rogic against Irving. Here's Levert, defended by Butler, and stolen by Butler. And the pass to Dragic. Back to Butler. Floats one. Bucket is good. Butler's got 32 points. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. And the technical free throw is good. And looking at Prince's game, you know, he could be the ultimate complimentary player. A good shooter, doesn't need a ton of touches, solid enough on defense, and is showing signs of improvement. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And with Prince, his versatility between forward spots also is an asset to the team. And when I call Prince a complimentary player, I didn't mean it as a slight. It just plays with an approach and style that fits well with any team and any leading score. 
Players like him tend to have a long, productive career in our league. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Torian Prince. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. against Dragic. Shot from 16. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Here's Irving. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The Heat trail by seven. And here's Johnson outside. LeVert grabs the miss. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. And the foul called on ABC. That's his first foul. Here's LeVert. And here is Irving. Pass to Levert. Just five to shoot. A three ball. Sinks the three-pointer. Levert's got the lead up to ten now for Brooklyn. Well, you cannot allow Karis Levert to square up from deep. When he's in rhythm, he's going to knock down that shot with great consistency. Here's Butler. Brooklyn with the rebound. Prince has got his fifth rebound in this one. Left side, Irving. Shoots over Dragic, and Irving with the basket on the assist by Prince. And it's a 12-point Brooklyn lead. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. I'll tell you, you've got to admire the energy. This guy really wants to put this one away. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Brooklyn. They've held a 12-point lead early. He kicks to Harris. It's Allen. Drops the first one, and that'll push the lead to double digits. And Allen drops them both. 133 left in the fourth quarter. Rogic kicks to Buck. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got 11 rebounds in the game. against Ir Prince right side Allen outside rocket six Harris and they force clock the clock shot violation. clock violation great team the six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth 
defense is right there. It's good. Boy, he's carried his share of the load tonight, Kev. But he might need to carry even more if they're going to turn this thing around. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. Irving finds Harris. Five on the clock. Knocked away. And it's going to be a 24-second shot, shot clock violation. violation. They turn it over. And the Heat call time here. They trail by nine. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Jones dishes to Waiters. In the corner, Winslow with it. Cans it from downtown. And so they choose to intentionally foul. It's the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. And the Heat call time here. They're down by eight. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Leonard, the pass to ABC. For the three. Allen with the rebound. Now Chandler. Here's Dinwiddie. And so it's Brooklyn with the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. 
And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. Nice win tonight. What was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.